What's happening everybody? I'm back again with another tutorial for you guys. I'm going to show you how to use the Move plugin, how to download it, how to install it, how to set it up and show you exactly what it does. Let's just get right into it. Currently I have OBS open. And if you look on OBS settings here for scene transitions in the bottom right hand side, you'll see that there's options for cut, fade, swipe, slide, and if you have any questions about these options, you can check my previous tutorial on transitions. I'm not going to go over that right now, but I am going to show you how to get the move uh, plugin and how to use it and set it up. So let's get to that. So open your web browser and type in OBS move transition. And here it says, move transition OBS forums. That's the one you're going to want to click. I'll leave this uh, link in the description so you guys can go out and get it if you need to. All right. So you're going to want to go over to the right hand side where it says download. Click that button. And I'm going to do the Windows installer to make it easy. Now this is installation for Windows, but there are other installers for Mac and Linux as well. So save the installer. Extract all. And double click on move transition installer. Now you will get a warning. Uh, in order to install this plugin, you can click more info and run anyway. And by the way, if you decide to run some application and you get a virus or something like that, I'm not liable for that. Um, that's something that you'll want to look into and make sure that you scan this software before you install it on your device. Next, click yes. And I'm going to go with the default path. Click next and next and install. Finish. Now that's installed, it's not going to show up in OBS until I restart OBS Studio. So you'll want to close that and reopen the program. If we go back to scene transitions down on the right hand side where it says slide, we should now see move. I'm going to select that. You can name it move. You can uh, create different transitions such as move left, move right. I'm just going to keep it move and we'll adjust the properties. So I'm going to hit OK. Once you select OK, it's going to open up a window that's going to allow you to play around with the settings and create your own move transitions. So scroll down. You can choose how you want this to work. So you can have it ease in, ease out. You can have it just ease in. Um, no easing, so you can change the amount of time that actually does the transition. You can choose the type of transition, fade, slide, etc. You can create a curve so that when it comes in, it actually curves in at an angle um, by adjusting this slider right here. You can have it come in uh, easing as cubic. Uh, several other ones, um, sign, circular. Now you want to play around with these to find your preference. The nice thing about this is before everything's written in stone, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can preview the transition. Now it's broken up into transition in and transition out. That's why you're seeing another curve on the very bottom here. So let's just preview the default transition. So as you can see, it comes in from the left hand side and shrinks and goes out the right hand side. So what if we wanted to want it to go out the right hand side at a different angle? Well, we'll adjust the curve. Preview. And now you see it's going up and right on the transition out. Now by selecting a different transition, we can alter that effect. Let's do swipe. And you'll notice that it does change quite a bit. 
So that's a quick hard cut that disappears and the other one just comes in. So if you can play around with your incoming part of your transition and the easing out part of the transition, and you can make some really interesting effects between uh, your scenes. So my favorite, I'm just gonna go with none right here. And I'm gonna have it come in from the right like it is. And I want it to come in sign. And I'm gonna have it come in a slight curve. I wanna overdo it. And then ease back out. I'm gonna do that sign. And have it as a slight curve in the other direction. And click preview. And hit okay. So now, move is selected in the bottom right hand side. And when I hit transition, it's going to switch between the scenes using this default move transition. So as you can see, I can change it by selecting different scenes. At any time, if you're not happy with your settings with the move transition, you can click on the gear next to where it says move and go to properties. And from here, you can adjust all the settings that you previously had set up. I hope that helps you to add some pop to your transitions and make your production more interesting and just add a little bit more flavor. Um, if there's any other questions you have about transitions and the move transition, please post them below. And as always, it's fantastic working with you guys. I can't wait to see you guys again. Until next time.